welcome to the DQ and Q Lifestyle Podcast with me, Marcus, and today we are going to talk about what we're going to talk about. Justification. But before before we talk about that, I got I've uh, got something to say. I've been making new friends, everybody. Everybody, I've been making new friends in gym and <laughs> I'm still getting compliments in the gym. It's hard to, if you know me, you know that man's been slim all my life. You know what I mean? I go to gym, get a little bit in shape, whatever. I haven't been in gym for a year. And then it's July now. And then from Christmas till about March, March or April, Put on a couple more stone. Got to like 17 and a half, couldn't believe it. No. At Christmas, I was just over 16 stone. <clears throat> Christmas, just over 16 stone. I've just come out from gym, by the way, so I'm a bit sweaty. Tanking right now. Just over 16 stone, and then by March or something, I was like 17 and a half. It was like, whoa. And then obviously I went back to the gym and everyone's seen you being. No one believes that I've just, I'm like three or four weeks in getting the compliments. I enjoy it. One kid said to me, did I say this yesterday? He goes to me. <laughs> he was asking somebody, I swear I said this yesterday, I ain't even telling you the story. You know what I mean? I've told so many people. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so I've made new friends in the gym. You know what I mean? Feels good, everybody. So yeah. Justification. So, it seems, I was talking, I've spoken before about certain things, certain ways of thinking affecting mental health, but it's not a true mental health issue. It's just the way that we think and how people around us think. And it's not conducive to good mental health. So, justifying things. What do I mean by justifying things? I mean, so... For example, I've committed this crime, knife crime, but I'm saying, but but they were chatting to me in a certain way. So I've justified my actions. So I've, zup, zup, you know what I mean? And then I'm not just saying, yeah, that's what I did, and just leaving it there. I'm throwing a butt in, but these men were chatting to me in a certain way, and it can't happen. So that's just a justification. So justifying things allows you to keep being in a state of, how can I say it? Just basically allows you to keep doing what you're doing. You possibly know what you're doing is wrong and it's not right, but you'll say, oh, I did that because they did this. Or, yeah, I shouldn't have done it, but X, Y, and Z. So, any time is a butter because it's like that's a justification for your actions rather than just holding your hands up saying, Yeah, you're right, I shouldn't have done it, or I did it. You know what I mean? So, justifying things, justifying things can, like I said, it, it, it just keeps you in that state of, of whatever you're doing. And it's not, it's not a good, it's not a good mentality to have. It's not a good men- mentality to have. It doesn't, it creates a lot of division among just even our friends and our peers, should I say. So, a friend might come to you and say, oh, you hurt my feelings, for example, just for example, or whatever, or, or oh, you did this. And they're, say, they're not saying, especially in this road thing, they're not, they won't say, oh, you hurt my feelings, but like, oh, but you did, and they'll say it in a way that can be interpreted as their feelings are hurt, or they're upset with what you did there. You're like, but yeah, but, well, but you did this. But if you didn't do that, then I wouldn't have done that. Do you know what I mean? Rather than, because they don't want to hear that. They want to say, they're just coming to you saying, listen, I'm hurt, you know, and they want, ah. Oh, Sorry about that. I didn't mean to. Like, let, let's move on. Oh, what can I do? What can we do to make it? But we don't. Like, that's what they're saying without saying it. Sometimes we have to read between the lines, you know what I mean? Or body language or whatever. Or just understand what's going on. But we're like, well, well you did that. So that's like a big slap in the face for the person that's come to you trying to get some kind of, like, resolve or trying to get back on some level, like, get back on the, um, get back where they were. Because when you're hurt, like, you feel a bit knocked down, don't you? 
So you, they're trying to get back to where they were, and then you kind of just like, dum dum, not not to give them a slapping. <laughs> a lyrical slapping, not to back down. So yeah, justification basically is something that will keep you trapped in this cycle, in this negative cycle. So like I say, it's not until it's hard to break out of it as well to not say yeah, but you did this or yeah but they did that because I was doing it in the group so they're trying to prey on me and get me to think about things but I wouldn't progress with the thinking about things so there's two tracks that I could have took thinking about it in a different way or just thinking about it in the way in the justification way well that's where it, that's what they did so because I'm not taking no responsibility then I'm not taking no personal responsibility. I'm not taking no ownership of what's happened. Do you know what I mean? It's like, basically, I'm trying to say they've done it to themselves. Like, haha, why are you hitting yourself? Like, kind of like, it's one of them ones, really. Do you know what I mean? I'm saying, I ain't, what are you talking about? Like, if they didn't do that, I wouldn't have done that. Forget all that. They could have done what they want. I still didn't need to do that. Do you know what I mean? Unless it was full-blown self-defense. They're coming at me. It wasn't. Do you know what I mean? In my mind, it was. But in reality, it wasn't. So, yeah, so when they're trying to, like, get me to go down path A of, like, yeah, but it was you that did it and can you see what you've done and how, I'm like, yeah, but I'm staying on track B. Like, track A is just getting cut short and I'm on, like, no, they are the reason that what happened to them happened. They were chatting to bad man in a set way and... What happened, happened. Basically, in my mind, that was it. That was... And it's not just me that does that. That's how all my bridges did it. Olders, fam... Like, that's just, you know, TV, things that I watch, music, everyone, everything. My whole world, that's what everyone does. Don't know what you're talking about. They're mad, I'm saying. And, yeah. It's just... It's just... Uh, yeah, so it's just hard to get out of that... Out of that mindset... Do you know what I mean? Because for one, to take blame means that you were in the wrong. And it's hard to be in the wrong when we live in a world where it's so prized to be right. Do you know what I mean? So being wrong then opens the door to guilt. Like, or shame. Even worse. <laughs> Guilt's rough, shame's rougher. You know the ones there? So I think you could see like guilt as like I did something bad and shame as I am bad. Because of this, I am bad. Or because I did that, guilt is that. Because I did that, like that's a bad thing. Do you know what I mean? So so then it opens that. So we'd rather clo keep that door closed and just go forward with the justification because it leaves negative feelings away like well I'm not feeling bad for him like I didn't do that like it's just if it weren't for me it was for them do you know what I mean and you'll be getting upset and angry because you're trying your best to keep that door shut of ang uh, guilt and shame guilt and shame or guilt or shame whatever may be coming if you go down the personal responsibility way and that's why it's important to go down I always say this for everything we talk about important to go down like to be able to not justify bad actions because once you're out of that mindset, there's no excuse for you to do certain things. So you just won't do the thing. So I keep talking about something. I'm like, I'm up here. And I'm back and this and that. And giving it them ones, yeah. But I won't. Because I know, like once you know better, you do better, don't you? So I know that I... That if I do do that, I understand that there's consequences. So I've got the consequential thinking, all this, that, and even blah, blah, blah. But I know that I won't be justifying what I did because, justifying, <laughs> because it's me that did it. I did it. And then I got the empathy. So on, I'll, be in my, I'll be in their shoes and understood, understood what, what they're going through. Whether it's just like a little, from something from like a little cut or bruise or whatever to something more intensive, like intensive care or something. Like whether it's in their shoes of being operating on or whatever or being in one of their loved ones shoes have seen this do you know what I mean so like it, that stops me as well but like I say so being 
able to not justify, to understand, right, if I could do this action now, that this is going to leave me feeling shame and guilt, do you know what I mean? Because it is me that did it. There was no reason to, I didn't have to, unless I can say, unless it is like a life or death situation or it's just a straight up self-defense thing or whatever. Then that's different. But more time when I look back, or when I have looked back, when I was on the therapy, because obviously that's what we do is look back over a whole life. Do you know what I mean? There's some things that you just volunteer. But then there's certain things that you don't know that you're doing that get brought to your attention that there's a certain schema of in term, or blueprint in terms of why someone would do these things in like now in as an adult, understanding roughly that there's a few things, not too many things in the past, where it would come from, whether it's physical abuse, mental abuse, sexual abuse, or you know, something like that. Not just abuse. Um, but yeah, you could, you could put it all down to abuse, but it's just different, in it? Like, it might be like, uh, you know, your brothers would be eating your boy, your family did, or whatever, this and that, or you, you're just always forgotten about this and that. It's a bit like more emotional stuff, do you know what I mean? So it falls under some kind of abuse and trauma, do you know what I mean? And depending on how it plays out, it can kind of be guessed. When you become good at this, you can kind of guess where it may have come from, do you know what I mean? Like, sometimes, you, you know what I mean? It's not always the same, but yeah, so yeah. Anyway, so yeah, justification. That's the justification pod. 30 pods in 30 days. I'm on day four, I think. And yeah, just come up from the gym. It's time to flex. It's time to shower. It's time to eat. It's Marcus. It's the q and Lifestyle Podcast. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Please. Please. <laughs> yeah, Marcus, the q and Lifestyle Podcast. <laughs> <laughs>